Hi there, it's Mr. C here. I'm going to walk you through for both the parents and the kids how to use uh, RAS kits. So let me just get onto the screen for that. Here we go. So, first thing is you're going to have to log into RAS kids.com and it should take you to an opening screen like this. Uh, let me just grab an arrow here. Over here where the green box is, it says kids login. So obviously you want to click on that one. Oops. There we go, kids login. And normally it would actually ask you for a toolbar where you can type in the teacher's name. Um, so let me just quickly click on something like that here. So here's where normally you would click on to this area here, and my name is gonna be Chris Castellaren, all as one word. Um, once you've gone in at least once, you'll probably get a toolbar that looks like this one down here, where I'm already on there. Anyways, we'll hit go. And there you go. It opens up to this page, which has everybody's name on it. Um, so the student will find their name. I've created a, a false one here called A Teacher, so I'm gonna click on that. And I have to enter my password. For all of the students, your password is Division 17, D-I-V-1-7. Let's go into that. You get to this screen here. Um, there's a few different things on the screen. Uh, reading room gives you a few extra books or a small selection of the books. Uh, star zone we'll talk about a little later, but it's an area that you can go into and you can spend the stars that you earn from the reading. And there's all sorts of things to spend the stars on, furniture for your space station, plants, aliens, planets, robots, all sorts of stuff. The stats just give you stats on your stars and on your reading. But the main area you want to go into for reading is this area here called Level Up. So I'm going to click on that. And this opens up my personalized reading page. Uh, I've set mine to Level H which is the equivalent to DRA level 14. For grade one students, by the end of June, we want them to be around level 14 or level 16. So that's H or I. Right now, each student in my class, I've set you for your reading level at the last level I tested you on for DRA. Um, in order to get to the next level, in this case, I'm on level H, in order to get to level I, I have to read through all of the books here I can't just skip into the next level. In other words, I can't go from level four to level 16. I have to go through each of the levels. And in order to go through the whole level, you have to do all three parts to each and every single book. The three parts consist of listening to the book being read, reading the book yourself, and there are some tools you can use for that, and then answering some multiple choice questions. And as you do that work, you'll actually earn stars for that. You can see in this book here, Animals, Animals, I finished all three parts, listening to the book, reading to the book, and answering the multiple choice questions. I earned 210 stars for doing that. On this book here, you can see that there's a bookmark, this yellow bookmark on the listening to the story, because I left the book partway through, I didn't finish it. And a bookmark here for reading the story on my own, Again, I, I left the book partway through, so there's only a bookmark. And the multiple choice questions, well, they're ghosted out because I haven't completed these first two parts. Let me show you an example of what that looks like. We'll go into Animals, Animals, which I've already read. I cannot earn any, earn any additional stars for a book I've already read. So this one is listening Animals, to the story. Animals, written by Cheryl Ryan. And the page will turn automatically. There are many kinds of animals. The elk is in the deer family. Male elk have large antlers. Elk can swim well and run very fast. Giraffes are very tall go with back. long necks. So again, as long as I finish listening to the entire story, it'll give me the green check mark. If I haven't, I'll get the little book tag, meaning I need to go back. It's actually, interestingly enough, given me a bookmark, even though I've already read the whole one. Here is the part where it's just me reading the story. And in this case, I have to operate the page changes. 
and I can read the story out loud to my mom or dad or to myself. Notice when I touch the word, it highlights it. If I'm stuck on a word like this one, I can highlight it. It'll pull up a little pop-up menu and I can hit here word. Animals. I can do things like highlight that word. And I can continue to read and go through each one of the pages. I wanna read really carefully because if I can get five out of five, my first try on the multiple choice questions, I get a lot more stars than if I get three or four wrong and have to go back and re-answer. Let's go back and look at the multiple choice questions on this book. Again, I have to complete these first two parts before multiple choice is even available. Otherwise, it's ghosted out. Which two animals live on grasslands? Zebra and snow leopard, zebra and elephant, snow leopard and camel. I'm gonna guess C. I'll click on the next. What is this book mostly about? Animals, bears, food, hmm, animals. Which of the following details is an opinion? I'm gonna guess B. Good idea not to guess, but to go back and maybe read the story three or four times until you know the story really well. Camel, camels can live for weeks without sleeping, drinking, or moving. Oh, drinking. Uh, last question. Which details describe a kangaroo? Long trunk? Uh -uh. Strong back legs or large antlers? Oh, only one that fits is that. Now, I finished all one, two, three, four, and five questions. I'm going to hit the done button. And it you will did tell not me. pass this quiz. Uh -oh. Read the book again or try a different book. And it actually shows me which questions I got right and wrong. So when I go back, I can try and re-answer those questions. And hit done. Super! Yay. You answered all the questions correctly. You cannot earn any extra stars for a book you've already finished. But the first time I finished that book, I earned 210 stars. With my stars... I can go into the star zone, choose to build an avatar or Raz rocket. I'm gonna go into the Raz rocket. There's the rocket landing. Just waiting for it to load. And here's the room. See this little stool? That's a stool I already bought with some of my money. I'll go over to the machine here where it says stars. Click on that. And it gives me lots of different choices that I can choose from. I'll go into plants. And it tells me how much things are going to cost. This plant, only 50 stars. So this plant's going to cost me 1,000 stars. I don't have that many yet. I'm going to have to go back and do some more reading. But I can afford 100 stars. So I'm going to choose that one. Hit buy. And there's my plant right over here. So as I read more and I earn more stars, I can buy more things to fill up my rocket ship. I can also take a quick look outside the window at what's happening because you can also buy all sorts of things like aliens and furniture and robots and planets and etc. All right, back to the star zone. And back to the home page. So again, level up is where you want to go in to read those books and do all three parts to the books. My stats just shows me a bit about my stars here. So I've got only 60 stars left to spend out of the 210 that I've earned so far. The reading room does have books, including even some that I've already read, this one and this one, but it doesn't have all of the books. So really what you want to stick to is the level up room here. Okay? Uh, you can leave messages. Mom and dad can leave you messages. And uh, that's about it. So have fun with it. And if you have questions, you can always let me know.